You should be getting it. Getting it while the getting is good. We don't have a lot of time, folks. First of all, welcome to my channel. I know that you know who I am because you are here. All I have to say is that today is yet another day where my time management skills are not in their best shape. I have literally 20 minutes to show you how to go from daytime cute to date night fly, okay? And uh, I, we, we just gotta get going. We definitely just have to get going. We just have to hop into the video. And before we go on though, most importantly, we can take time for this. Go down to the bottom, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave me a couple comments. Let's hurry up and get into this. Okay, shoot. Man, I just blew like a minute and a half talking to y'all. Okay, so the first thing that I have to do is I have to look at my face and go ahead and check and see where do I need a touch up. Today, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and I'm going to touch up my blush, my under eye highlight, and I'm going to touch up anywhere that I need powder to take away any shine, okay? So first things first, let's start with some powder. I'm gonna go in and get rid of some shine and refresh my makeup in general. I'm gonna go in with my Huda Beauty powder, which is what I used this morning to do my face originally. I like using the same powder that I used earlier in the day for touch-ups, just because I don't want to have too many different colors on my face, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm going to just get a little bit of powder on that brush and I'm just gonna press it into any places that I feel like I have shine. Usually it's gonna be on that forehead, around the nose, around the mouth, and any other places that you naturally get powder, okay? And it just happens during the day. There's nothing you can do about it. Even the best, most sweat-proof application is gonna end up with a little bit of shine. So I've done that. I've put it on a big fluffy brush so that it won't be a heavy application. And this is a translucent powder, so it's gonna get rid of any shine that I have, okay? All right, next step, I'm gonna go in with a under eye powder for me i use the c6 powder from mac and i'm going to use this to go under my eye to just brighten up my under eye because i don't have time to bake to brighten up my under eye and your girl of course is not going to go in and take off all her foundation and then add more concealer to brighten up the under eye not going to do it okay so i'm just taking this i'm going to press it right in the middle of my forehead and also make sure that i do a little blendy situation so I don't have any harsh lines and I'm putting it underneath my eye right in the middle and here on my chin because those are the places that I tend to want a little bit more brightness especially for a more dramatic night out okay two more steps for the face by itself okay I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna check and see how much highlight I have and I'd actually like a little bit more so I'm gonna go in with a fan brush and with my Marc Jacobs glitzy highlighter which is a beautiful highlighter and I'm just gonna use this fan brush and I'm gonna add some more of the glow back that you know may have gone away through the day, rubs off on clothes, all kinds of stuff happens, you know? Of course you know. Then, going back with my original powder brush with nothing on it, I'm just gonna go in there and press down and make sure that I don't have any harsh lines. We might be in a rush, but we're still not accepting harsh lines. And what's really important is that you don't disturb anything that takes a lot of time to apply or to fix. So I'm being very careful with the brows in general. Nobody wants to redo their brows. We only got 20 minutes. Brows take 20 minutes. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in some color and brightness to my face using a blush that I like. This is Fever from MAC, but you could use whatever you'd like. Because it's a night out, I wanna go with something that has a little bit more pop, a little bit more oomph. So I'm gonna start with a little bit and then I'm gonna add more just in case I decide I need it. Let's see. Great thing about well-placed blush, especially a nice bright color, is it can lift your whole face up. It just brings the cheeks up nice and high. I'm gonna buff that in real nice. Okay, so by my calculations, we still have about 10 to 12 minutes. At this point, you can decide how much can you do to your eyes. Uh, I think sometimes that your face can really take care of a lot of what has to happen, but you should decide what you wanna do to your eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set my face really quickly because I wanna melt that powder back in. And it's not a completely fresh application, so adding a refresh of your setting spray can definitely bring some life back to your face, okay? Hmm. Oh, that feels so good. And it feels good, so you feel refreshed when you get ready to go out. There's nothing better than that before a date. Now with the time I have left, with my 
getting ready period and I still have to get dressed mind you let's not forget about that you don't go out on your date in what you have on unless you have no other option I think the best way for you to decide what color to put on your eye is to take some inspiration from whatever eyeshadow palette or color you use that morning to get ready this morning to get ready I used the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes palette as you can see there's a range of light colors to peaches tans purples and some maroons and pinks and browns so I could easily pick any of these colors to take inspiration off of however I like purple and any opportunity to wear purple I'm probably gonna go for so I'm gonna look into my makeup stash and you can do the same thing go find a really nice pigmented sparkly color that goes with whatever color you want to pull from your original palette this morning. For me, I'm going to go with purple. I'm going to use this really gorgeous color. It's called My Jam from Dose of Colors. It came in the Black Party Singles collection. These are still totally available at Ulta. Uh, I did not buy this new because I'm in the middle of my no buy April, so don't, don't come for me. This is not new. <laughs> you just haven't seen it yet. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply this to my lid and then I'm going to hop back into the palette that I put on earlier today and I'm going to just allow it to easy easily and seamlessly blend right in okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick out my brushes so that I can move quickly I'm gonna go in with a nice shader brush and also a small angle brush to go into my inner corner when I get there and then I'm gonna use my finger rub into this color and then I'm gonna pat this right on my lid I'm going to do it below the crease, down into the lash line. Don't worry about the liner because we're going to put that back on. You could also cover it up because a lot of glitters are very pigmented and they will cover black, but that's totally up to you. I'm going to leave the outer corner of my eye open because I'm going to blend in with the color from the earlier shadow palette to bring it all in seamlessly together because we want it to look intentional, not rushed. Okay, and then using the angle brush that we grabbed, I'm gonna use that, I'm gonna get a little bit of product off here, tap off the excess, and come into my inner corner. If I use my finger, there's a high likelihood that I'll end up with it all the way on my lower lash line and all the way into my inner corner, which is not what I want. I need some control, once again, so that it looks seamless. The first two steps, we only have one more left. We're gonna use the blending brush preferably a pointed blending brush from, um, this one's actually from Colored Rain, and I'm gonna go into the palette from earlier today, and I'm gonna grab this color right here, which is the color that's already in my outer corner, and I'm just going to go over that transition where the two meet, and I'm also gonna bring it into my crease. Just gonna pack it in there, and then I'm gonna swirl the edge and join it with the rest of the eye look. If you have the time, you should definitely go in with a clean brush and just go over that edge just to help it be a little bit more seamless. There's nothing else on this. It's just the brush to help me smooth this out and again make it look like, like I planned it. <laughs> thing I do want to call out, as you're moving through your products, using your brushes, using your fingers, clean things off or clean your finger off so that you don't accidentally get things on your face because you don't have time to start over, okay? You just don't. Now one more step, if you have the time, I'm gonna go in with a little bullet brush. You could also go in with a flat brush. I'm gonna grab the same color that we grabbed before and I'm gonna smudge this on my lower lash line, focusing it on the outer corner to give some more drama to this eye. Using that same brush, just wipe it off. I want you to go ahead and take your original highlighter color this color right here that you already put on your face and just touch a little bit more of that to your inner corner. Now that my eyes are mostly done and I probably have on mascara from earlier in the day, which I do, I'm gonna go ahead and look at my eyes and see what I still need. Um, I don't think I need any more mascara. I will go in with my liner, my, my liquid liner, and touch up my line, even, but not recreate it. If you have a black eyeliner, lining your waterline top and bottom will add a lot of drama to this look all right we have time for lips now because i have on 
Mm. I have on purple eyes. I kind of want to wear a purple lip. So I'm going to show you a couple of my favorites. Some of them you heard of, some of them you probably own. We'll see how it goes. I have, of course, liners to go with my lipsticks. One is a deeper kind of a brownie red and the other is a deep plum. You could also use a just a regular dark brown like BFF3 if that's the look that you're going for. Um, as far as colors go, I've got, a, I've got a bunch of purples. I didn't realize how many I had uh, and I think I'm kind of I've developed a little bit of an addiction. So I'll show you a few of them and then we can go ahead and we'll try on, we'll try on two maybe three, depends on how much time I end up having. So the first one I wanna start with is called Purple Rain from Dose of Colors, and that's what Purple Rain looks like. Next, I have Undefeated from Fenty, which is the purple color in the liquid matte. Then I have a Melted Metal from Too Faced, which is not a matte, it's actually more of a shiny gloss. Following that up, I've got Smoke Purple from MAC, this one is a matte lipstick. I have another matte from MAC called Evening Rendezvous. There we go. And I love all of these purples because they're really nice true purples. They're not shying away from the fact that they're purple. They are definitely purple. So let's see. I think that for, for the look that I have on now, I would either go with the Melted Metals or the Evening Rendezvous. But I do want to put on this lovely Dose of Colors color. So I decided I actually wanted to show you more than just one color. So I'm gonna go in with actually two colors and a different color lip liner. This one is the Molasses Lip Liner from Sephora. I'm going for an ombre look. Next, I'm gonna go in with the undefeated color from Fenty. And the key to the Fenty liquid lipsticks is this applicator. It's intended for you to turn it around and use this as a liner or also just for control. And this again is Purple Rain from Dose of Colors. This ombre look is so extra, um, but it's really pretty. So for extra credit, you do this. Otherwise, just go with the purple in the middle. So you are pretty much done. If you have time and if you can do it quickly, add some lashes. I, I always feel like I have some time for lashes. So add some lashes, do my hair real quick, and I'll be right back. Something easy and fun, but still date night appropriate. Be right back. Did really good, changed my outfit, put on something nice and, you know, silky looking, you know, feeling kind of good, smelling kind of good. Well, I sm it smelling real, smelling real good, real good. Okay, so this is it. This is the finished look, okay? Uh, in our 20 minutes plus getting dressed time, we have re-slayed our face, redone these eyes, and put on some lashes and some hair looks that have us looking lit. I feel lit. I hope y'all feel lit. Um, it's time to go. It was like literally or totally out of time. I got somewhere to go. I think you do too. And uh, I hope that you will let me know what you think of this video. If you like what you saw, if you've tried it and you feel like it works, or if it's too many steps, go down to the bottom and tell me, Shelby, that is too many steps. But first, I want you to try it and see if what comes out doesn't blow your mind. That is all, folks. I'm going to post some before and after. I know you got to go. I'm going to talk to you later. Ciao for now. Shoot, I gotta go. Bye, y'all.